my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful barber cape. It's portable and it keeps it very nice and clean when you give haircut. All right. Now I want to show you about the drape. First I want to talk about it that you need a hoop, circle hoop, this kind of circle that uh, you know the cars they have it to cover the windows. What you do is you fold and you open it just like this. You put it away and you open it. So what we need, we need handles, which I want to tell you, and then uh, we need the material, of course, and we need Velcro to cover it. That's all we need. So I want to tell you the measurement. The material is, it will be the skirt part. First, you have to measure your hoop, how big it is. That's how wide you can do it, the bottom part. So because it has to sewn together. So this hoop is 72 inches. So what I did, I sewed the, hoop, the material on a hoop by just putting it just simply like this. And I sew all circle and left it like that. This should be 72 inch. Only thing I want to say, you have to always cut extra half inch or one inch to bring them on top of each other so you can cover it. So now I want to talk about the shoulders. What it is, the shoulders, we need 24 inch. The strips, we need 24 inch. First, what you do before you sew the material, you bring it in the middle like this and you put them together and you sew them first. So when you start to sew, you have to put on the shoulder. So first what you have to sew is around the skirt. It's just like will be umbrella. So the bottom is 72. The top, the neck part is 18 inch. So it goes circle like this to the shoulder, to the neck, 18 inch, you need this. So while it's 18 inch, you need 21 inch, the neck part. We're gonna fold it, we need a little extra because we're gonna bring this part over here. This is how much is the neck and this is the extra part because we have to put this extra material. So we have to sew on top so we can cover it. So the neck part, we need 21 inch the neck. And when you're cutting the, uh, like an umbrella, it's 18 inch the neck part. The material extra to go circle around, which we have to do just like this. We have to sew and we have to turn it around like this. Of course, over here, you have to keep extra to keep it clean, to make it neat. That's why you need extra. And later on, it has to come extra this way because we're going to put this material over here to cover it, this part. We're going to sew this here at the edge. So when we dress the customer, it will be space. So we have to put Velcro here and Velcro this side. And this one over here, which it should be, let me tell you, it's 13 inch goes this way, which is, this is the part I want to show you. This is inside is 13 inch going an angle the the lower part is shorter from 13 inch to four and a half inch and the length is 10 inch so when we sew i'm going to turn it upside down so you can see uh, inside out that this is the part which is extra material here you see the long part this is the length and this is the short part when you put them together, when you open it, it will be space for the cut to dress your pattern. This one, it has to sew one side here and one side over here. This is, let's say it's inside. When you turn it out, it's gonna look cleaner just like this. So this one goes there. You have to cut eight inch over here. So this will be put on top just like that. The neck part I showed you, 
and then later on after you put this inside this will go over and then we will sew at the end here so we won't rip it when every time we open close it and we sew over here i take this with me wherever i go the scissor is always with me always i have friends people family they like to get a haircut i always twist this like this put in a bag and carrying with you all right i'm gonna start now all right now i'm gonna sew now I'm going to put the two ones that it's going to go on the shoulder. We fold them and we put them on the shoulder, both of them. Now this part, it's going to be inside. We're going to cover it. Other shoulder, we're going to put on top of each other. And we're going to put a pin because we're going to sew them together now. So this is the shoulder part. You see it? I have to put on top of each other. And this is going to be shoulder here and this part I'm gonna sew now only around like this to the shoulder I'm gonna stop here and the other side I'm gonna do the same thing all right I'm gonna do both sides and I'm gonna show you all right now that we saw the handles I'm gonna turn this is the back side I mean in outside in now this is outside this is how it's going to look. Those are the ribbons that we put it on the shoulder. And you see over here, just like an umbrella, it's all sewn. So this part, these handles are going to go one this side and one it's going to go the other side. So now this is in the front. There is no stitches. We're going to turn this in the back. And we have to have this cup, which one we showed you. We're going to put this now in the back we have to sew with the neck part and i'm gonna leave half inch up then from the shoulder because later on we're gonna put circle uh, i don't know what do they call but we call ba so it will cover the fringes just like this that's what we're gonna do so we have to sew now this one with this line over here because later on we're gonna cover it like this so it will stay nice and clean and we're gonna put velcro later on over here so now i'm gonna sew the secure part let's say the to show it clean all right i'm gonna sew from the top to here to the ends it can go down i'm gonna do it from the top to down all right you'll see over here and this is a quarter inch higher now you'll see this part which is the neck part it's gonna be which we're gonna cover it this is gonna be outside just like this so now what we have to do we're gonna put the neck part this is the first it goes the shoulders the sides this is the second now we're gonna do the third one third job so this is a material I, will, I should have measured it for you, but cut a piece of long material like this and just go around the neck part. Start from here. And what we have to do, we're going to sew it, but we're going to fold it so the fringes, it will stay nice and clean. We don't want any thread to come out. Okay, both sides. So what you have to do for that, you have to pin it first. Let me show you how, and I'm sure you're understanding, but if you don't... So you put the fold side outside, because when you close it, it's, you want to look the clean face. All right, we're going to put the pin now. Just like this. This is all. It's going to be neck. All right. There you go. And over here, because it's higher, you continue from here. You just continue the way it is. Just like this. But make sure that you put pretty close to the material here. There you go. So you're going to continue this around the neck, all this part. This is the neck part. After we pin it, 
we can we will sew which I'm gonna show you after I pin it and then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna twist this little part here to show it clean and this is how it's gonna look the top part all right now that you see this is the neck part I put all cross until to the ends now I'm gonna make a sewing the neck and then I will show you it's gonna be sewn perfectly fine and then we're gonna turn this around like this and I'm gonna sew it from the same place so it will be nice and clean neck just like this so now I'm gonna sew this part and then I'm gonna twist this and I'm gonna sew over again so it will be ready the neck part all right we'll go back forward and then I go backward again I'm gonna forward again so this way it will be nice and tight so I'm gonna stitch this So while I'm stitching, I'll take the needle out. I go little by little. And now I wanna show you here. Let me take this out. So just to show you. Now that I saw this part, what I'm gonna do later, I'm gonna fold again and I'm gonna cover it. So we don't have to see this messy part, the fringes and whatever. This is the neck part. We need nice and clean. Now almost, almost at the end of the neck, for this extra part, what you do is you just twist it in like this and twist inside just to keep it nice and clean material to be. So you'll fold it and you fold it back so we don't want any mess to be outside. All right, now I'm going to show you. But let me go backwards. All right. So now this is the neck part here that you see. This is what we did now. So this is the extra material. Later on, it's going to be covered on it. So we did the shoulders. That was the first one. And the neck, this one we put second. And this was the third. Now what we have to do is we're going to put this material from inside and we're going to sew this together over here. The lower part. So when we open the, when we put the customer's head over customer's head, it can open and then we will close it. And this part, it will be like for opening and closing. I have to show you now where we are gonna sew this. Now this is the clean, this is the messy part and this is the, because I turned over here like this so it's clean side, we will put here. But now we're gonna put face to face and we start from here just like this. And then it's gonna be covered like this and we're gonna sew it over here. And it's gonna be this part, we're gonna turn it inside out. Of course, right now, first we have to do out. We're gonna sew it. All right, now this sharp material, we sewed it here, one edge, and this is the other side. Now we're gonna turn it inside out. This is the wrong side, and now this is the right side. So let's put this down and let's open the drape so now you see how it is so when the customer they put their head in it like you know from here you see how big it is so this way it will be easy for customers to dress to dress them now we have this part because we made the cover to be nice and clean and this material is inside because this is the cover comes this side so this material we're going to turn it from inside with our hands go towards to this all right and then this is going to be covered we have to put a velcro here and here so we can close the velcro but this part what it is is until at the end that you see here the part that we put we're just gonna do this and we're gonna sew 
right here and one right here. So what it does, it's secure. When you dress them up, we won't rip the material. Like it doesn't open it anymore. So this will be the safety pin goes both sides. I'm gonna put a pin so we can see. And from the bottom, from inside, it's extra material. So this material has to come this way here. And this is gonna go over. And this is the last part that you see that we saw that it was cut. We put them together from there to bottom. What we have to do is we're going to sew one line here and one line here. That's it. You can make it square or just line just to be secure when you open it and close it. And then we have a Velcro which I have here stick on Velcro. I'm gonna stick on it, but I'm gonna sew at the same time because we don't trust just by sticking it. We're gonna open it, we're gonna stick on it, one side here and one the other side over here. And we were gonna sew on top, so you can close it. If the neck is bigger, you can put here. It's smaller, you mm -hmm. can make it this way, and it can be as much far you want to do. So I'm going to sew these two little parts and I'm going to put the Velcro, one here and one here. And then I'll show you. All right. All right. When you have to make the hoop, you put the material and you fold it and the metal, you have to have the fit for it, like something that it's thinner or I think a button foot, which I don't know where I put mine, but anyway, you'll fold it and you'll just go little by little round and round like this now we have to take the we have to turn it inside out and we're gonna start from half and it's we're gonna sew it together this part has to be inside so when you dress them the clean side will be out so we bring this dirty side like the side that we turn it inside that's the outside and this the skirt we just did zigzag there is no clean side or dirty side but you put it inside out and we have to put them together you can pin it or you can just sew it if you can but I'm sure it will be much easier for you if you pin it and put the pin towards to you so every time you're sewing it you can pull the pin out every time you sew reach it you can pin you can pull the pin out and maybe it makes it much easier for you this is the way you do and take your time and little by little do it and it will do very nice job all right let me do just do here those little parts and then i will continue and then the finishing i will show you this is the way it's gonna look now what we have to do is the ribbon we have to sew it one of the shoulder has to go here i could have put inside it was going to be hard for me so what i will do i will i will fold the ends and i will sew it on top so let's put the pin so we will know how it's gonna look and if it's exactly the right place one goes that way and one goes this way. The skirt is, this is the middle, so we have to put the, the, in, the mi in a quarter, in the middle of the quarter of the hoop. So now, when the customers, you dress them, this is the way it's gonna look. When you cut the hair, the hair is gonna fall in the pockets. I wanna put on myself, and this is the way it's gonna look this part. This is the neck part. I will close it. The shoulder comes on the shoulders. And here when you cut the hair, the hair, it will collect inside. You'll open it. I'll be my model. And you take the drape very carefully like this. The hair is inside already because those two sides, those material, it's holding it. And you take it and you collect all the hair like this and you go in your trash, just the way it is holding like this and you empty it. 
So when you cut hair, it will be nice and clean, no place dirty, no place anything. And this is the way it's gonna look. Now I'm gonna sew here, and then I will put on a model and you will see how good it's gonna look. Well, this is the finishing result. So you can see it's all over, all around. So now when I cut hair or you take it with you, you cut your, the, you cut customer's hair, the hair collects here, and then you take it out very gently. Of course, I'm doing it myself, but if you do it, this is the way. You'll take it out, you throw it into the trash, you're done, you're finished, you fold it, and you put it away. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope if you like it, please like and subscribe my channel. And I thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.